guys, this is Peter, and I've had a bit of a midweek surprise here. Um, usually Valve releases boxes on Thursday, it's Tuesday, but anyway, this is the genuine Sapphire cask from the DAC Dota Asia Championship Compendium. So I had already leveled this up for the previous unboxing, so these just showed up in my inventory today. And let's take a quick look and open them up. So the first one is the Winter Blight. This is for Wraith King. It's got like a weird ice animation on the face. I think this weapon does not go with the rest of the hero model at all. Um, that said, I think it has the potential to look pretty neat in game and I like the shiny crystal effect, so that's what it is. Next one is the Skittering Desolation for Weaver. Those are quite clearly Desolator arms on there. It reminds me a little bit of the um, Blink Dagger item for Ursa that's also immortal. I think it's maybe a little too close to that, but damn. The animation looks awesome, and I think it'll look pretty neat when he's running around in-game, so I think those are pretty fine. Uh, next one is the Moon Griffin. This is for Marana. I actually think this one's a little bit lame. Um, it's a little bit cartoony looking, not in a good way, and the effects are alright, but like, eh, not, it's not that much excitement going on there, at least for me. Uh, fourth one is the Sarakura. This is for Juggernaut. Holy crap, I'm excited for this. I love the Lotus effect. Um, I've always liked it on Couriers. I think it looks beautiful here. I kind of like this um, feminine style, but sort of just elegant Asian-inspired sword for Juggernaut. I think it looks really cool. Um, not necessarily the base model, but I think with the right set, this thing is going to look absolutely off the wall gorgeous. So, psyched to see that one in-game. And finally, as the items you're guaranteed to get, we have the Rapiers of the Burning God, which are just like bling in your face. Rapiers as a weapon, I think they were done fantastically. This had the potential to not look good, but my god, it is spot on. I think it looks amazing. Uh, the fire, shiny stuff, just wow. Just total excitement about that. There is a random bonus reward. This is the Cladish Cudgel for Tidehunter. And after looking at all of these other ones, I'm not sure why I'm supposed to be so excited about this one. I actually like the conch cudgel that I have better, but that's that's that. So, all right, let's open these suckers up, take a quick um, preview in game, and that'll be all for tonight. Okay, right, what do we got? Got some skittering. Oh, heroes have revealed the dust. It's going to be really useful. I'm going to be using a lot of dust on my weaver. Who knows? Maybe I will. Maybe there will be some, some indies here that I've got to hunt down. Alright, we got the Winter Blight for Wraith King. Incarnation kills. Very nice. I still want to get the bonus reward just to, you know, have a copy of it before the trading thing takes forever to be lifted, but... You know, I, I, it's not an item that I'm really, like, salivating over. These last two are the ones I'm super excited about. Can't wait to equip this. Oh my god, so gorgeous. So amazing. So beautiful. Alright. And maybe last, my favorite. I just love this effect. My very first courier was a Lotus Blossom, so... You know, I'm pretty, pretty jazzed up about that. Alright, so hang on for just a moment and I will show you how these look in-game. Okay, so first one is the Skittering Desolation for Weaver. I got a Desolator just in case there's an effect. I'm not really compelled. sure. Um, just gonna show some of the effects on him. Oops. My keypad's not working, so I guess I'll do it this way. Alright, watch carefully because I that's a first blood. don't think that bot's gonna last for very long. Alright, so that's the Skittering yes, Desolation for Weaver. Plan. Okay, so now we've got the Winter Blight for Wraith King. And I had a hell of a time figuring out that the bot is still called Skeleton King when you summon it, so I found that pretty interesting. If I get a crit, probably not. Anyway, that's how it looks. I think it's a little more okay, because there's the kind of green particles around him and then there's this blue, but I still don't think it matches the hero very well. Alright, so here we have the Moon Griffin for Marana. Um, I'm still gonna give this one a giant meh. I think this is maybe the least exciting item in this chest, but the game is on. Hell. Stars, rain, shadows take us. Leap forward. 
Nobody likes to pay for first blood, yet everybody likes to win. Alrighty. So that is the moon griffin. Nobody this is Ember Spirit with the rapier of the burning gods. <laughs> the one without them is the one doing the dance there. Um, I built a rapier, it doesn't seem to do anything with that. So this little fellow over here isn't going to last very long. So let's just do the abilities quickly. The way See. is clear. All action is reaction. Oh, he's gonna be follow well, me now. Be swift. That's a first blood. <laughs> first blood. I'm sorry, I have no idea how to play the zero. Anyway, I think first those look just everything. a second game, so maybe I need to learn. All right, rapiers of the burning god for Ember Spirit. All right, so finally I've got the Sarakura here for Juggernaut. Uh, comparing that with his normal sword, I think this one is so awesome. I'm a little bit sad that the effect time. isn't as obvious as the one on the couriers, but I still think it's pretty amazing, so very excited about that. Can't wait to add it to a mix and match. Oops, keep hat again. Alright, so it doesn't change anything about Blade Fury. And let's just take a quick hit on this guy. Oh, that pink! That's so beautiful. Alright, so that is the Saracura for Jugger. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. I would definitely welcome any suggestions you might have. I've been thinking about trying to split the video into an unboxing and a review, but to be honest, I haven't just had time due to real life right now. So I need to, that's something I need to consider. So I'd love to hear if you guys think that would be worth it or if I should just keep doing same stuff that I'm doing right now. Um, it would be really excellent for me to have some feedback about that. Alright, everyone take care, have a wonderful rest of the week, and a very happy Dota.